Hi everyone! In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the mail merge in Mailings Ribbon tab and to restrict some modifications in Review tab and also some important uh, commands in View Ribbon tab. So let's start first in our Mailings tab. Let me generate first a random text to start with in our uh, start mail merge function. So the mail merge is used in order for us to write our letter or single letter with different recipients. To start, let us click on the start mail merge uh, command. And then we can choose letters, email messages, envelopes, labels, directory, or normal word document. But since we're just creating our first uh, mail merge document, our letter, we need to choose the step-by-step -step mail merge wizard. And then I want to create a letter for my recipients. And then click next. And then I want to choose this uh, current document and I don't want to create or use a template or an existing document. So let's click next in choosing your recipients you may create a new list or use an existing list when we say use an existing list we need to say you're going to import some information from excel or in microsoft access but for now let's type a new list click on this radio button and then click this create command or create link A new window will appear showing us the uh, different fields that you could work on so you could just enter the title let's say uh, engineer and then the first name is Steve last name is jobs and then the company name let's say XYZ company Then zip code, let's say 4110, city of Laguna. And then if you want to add a new entry, just click on the new entry. Then let's say Mr. John Smith, ABC Company. Laguna 4002 Then to add a new entry, let's say Dr. Mary Jin and then CV V Laguna and then Let's say the zip code is 4101. So these are just example. And then once you entered all the information of your recipients, you can just click OK. And then save it on your, uh, let's say, documents or in my data source. And then uh, let's have the file name let's say save it as the recipients click save and then click OK after that let's move on to the next step which is write your letter and then we could add a ad address block greeting line or electronic postage or more items you could choose more items so I wanted to add an address block so this is how it looks like so you could choose different uh, representation of their names and then you could just preview it here in this square um, box that would show the output okay so I want to use this one You could view the other recipients 
details using this arrow and then click OK. So a placeholder will be placed in here. Once we click on the preview result, this is how it looks like. And then let's say I want to add a greeting line here. So let's click on the greeting line. We could choose different greeting line. Say I want to use two. Mr. Randall. We could choose different uh, formatting. Okay. And then click OK. So this is the greeting line. If you want to delete some spaces, you could do so. And then after putting all the placeholders for the address block and greeting line, then you could just review your letter. You could also add some, say for example, the last name. title or first name here in this area alone then you could do so you can insert those details individually and then as you make a preview it says here that mr. John Smith okay so I just showed you how to insert an individual placeholder for the entries that you have entered on our table. Now let's try to finish this document. Next is the preview your letters. So this is our recipient number three, recipient one, recipient two, then recipient three. After reviewing all the recipients, you can just go to our next step which is to complete the merge. You can choose to print this uh, entire uh, document along with the recipients. And then you could choose the properties. So if for example, if you want to uh, print all the documents, choose which printer. So you could just um, also choose the number of copies and now let's move on to our review ribbon tab we have here these spelling and grammar word count adding comments accept and reject of that comments and also the most important feature the restrict editing let's start with spelling and grammar once we click on spelling and grammar it would look for the words that are typos and then it would suggest a word that is close enough to that um, to that typo we have here the look, lock, uh, lock with capital L, and also low or lot. But if you didn't mean to uh, change this into a word that is uh, specified on this list, you could just ignore it or ignore once. So I want to change this into look. So I will just choose look and then click change. Okay. So it says here, spelling and grammar check is complete. Now the next one is the word count. The word count shows us the statistics, the, statistics, the number of pages, the number of words, characters, uh, with no spaces and with spaces, and paragraphs and lines. The next one is the new comment. Say for example, I don't want this to be the first sentence. So I just need to highlight this sentence and then click new comment and then change this sentence. So that's it for a comment. And for example, the user or the, um, the student or the one that edits this document has already changed the, uh, the sentence. So you could just um, delete this comment by clicking on the comment itself and then delete it. Okay. And then the next one is the track changes. So if you click on this one, 
So this is by default our um, document. So once you change something on it, it will be shown here on this line. Hide track changes or show track changes. So you could uh, keep track of what is happening on your document. The modifications made and also uh, what are the words that are updated or lines that are erased. So if this is accepted, for example, I accepted that you deleted the vid word from video, so I could just click on accept. Okay, there aren't any comments or track changes in your document, so click OK. But since this is a typo, we could also look for a spelling and grammar feature. So I could change it eon, ego, ea, neon, eons. I could just uh, change it back to video. Oops. And then accept the changes. Okay. And then the most important feature is the restrict editing. For example, I want to, to retain the first sentence, which is this one. And you could change the rest of the document so what i'm going to do is to uh, highlight this uh, group of text or sentences and then click on the restrict editing and then we have to limit formatting to a selection styles and then allow only this type of editing in the document so no changes so this first sentence that are not selected will only be a read-only text. So I mean to say you cannot edit this part, but only the rest of the document. And then it applies to everyone who um, opens this document or file, and then click Start Enforcing Protection. Once we click the Start Enforcing Protection, it would ask a password, or for it would ask uh, the user to enter a password for the protection. So for this, I'm going to enter a simple password, one, two, three, and then re-enter the password, one, two, three again. Then you can click on OK. Now at this point, the one with the highlighted or the highlighted text are the areas where you can edit your document. And then this part of your document is uneditable. So even if I change this, so for example, I copy this one and then try to paste it so there's no paste option. You cannot change it. Okay? But the rest are editable. And also this part. If you want to hide the protection, so you could click on the highlight the regions I can edit so uncheck this box so that it would look like it's a normal document but this part is not still not editable and then if you want to stop the protection and want to edit this part of your document you could click on the stop protection and then just enter your password and then hit enter So that's it for our uh, restrict editing. And then the next one, so let me first um, uncheck these boxes. The next part is the view ribbon tab. So we have here the read mode, print layout, and web layout. By default, we have the print layout, shows as the document, and also we could choose on the read mode wherein we could read our document like a book so you could also choose different views or outlines of your uh, document on this part it's the bottom part bottom right part so let's go back to the print layout it, you could also choose the web layout wherein it looks like a website and then here we could also check 
or uncheck the uh, ruler to view the ruler and also the grid lines you could also check the grid lines and also the navigation pane you could also um, set the the view for page width or multiple pages if there are two or more pages or just one page so that's it for our mailings review and view ribbon tab so I hope that you learned something new from this video see you on our next videos